Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how to generate APK file of your app. So that file can be used later for sharing, for giving your app to your friends for example, and they can install your app even though your app is not on Google Play. So to generate APK file of your project, so this is some project, it doesn't matter which one, you would open your project and go on build then you would go on this build bundle apk and you would then click on this build apk and once you do it wait for the android studio to generate that apk file So that APK file can be sent to someone and if that person wants to install the app from that APK file that you sent to them, they first need to enable or to turn on installing apps from untrusted sources. So now APK is generated and you would click on this locate right there and now now it took us to the folder where apk file is generated so that's the one right here so if you would like someone to install the app that you have just created you would generate the apk file like i just showed you so you would just copy this apk and you could send it through the email or however you want but as I mentioned, that person that would receive your APK file in order to install that app, they firstly must enable downloading or let's say installing apps from untrusted sources. To do that, you would probably need to enable that option in configuration of privacy settings, I believe. So it's different on different devices, but in general, it's about security and privacy settings. So somewhere there, you would need to enable that. And after that, you can easily install this app. So now, what if you want to upload your app on Google Play? You would then go on Build, and you would then generate Signed Bundle APK. So let's go and click what's going to happen. Let's see. So here you can choose between bundle or APK. If you choose bundle, it says that there are some convenience in here and benefits. Our app would take up less space. And this is the probably best option when it comes to the uploading your app to the Google Play. Because if you go on this Android app bundle, you will need to do much less things than if you choose APK. So let's stick to this Android app bundle. Then go on next. Here you need to specify where your key will be stored. So this is some kind of virtual signing. It's a proof that this is our app. So we are signing it basically like when you sign some paper so you would here choose destination where that key will be stored so you can choose whichever folder you would like let's say like this let's click on ok we need to specify password so we will specify something We need to specify password in here as well. Well, now we need to fulfill some of those. But I believe that some of those are optional. So let's try with this. So it works, now let's go on next. And here we need to sign this with release. 
build variant. So release is when you want to upload your app to the Google and debug is the one that we are working on. So when you decide to publish your app on Google Play, you choose release or else it won't be accepted by the Google. Now when you click on finish, we need to wait until this bundle gets generated. Okay, so let's expand this and locate it. Oh, we need to locate this actually. And we have this file with extension AAB. And that is something like application bundle. So to upload this bundle to the Google Play, we need to use Google Play Console. And I already have this enabled and everything. By the way, you need to pay $25 or euros, I forgot, if you want to have a Google Play developer account. Only that you would be able to publish your app on Google Play. So once you open your Google Play console, you would be prompted with something like this. Then you would go on create application. Here you specify some name. I will just type in something random. You would go on create. And then after all of those settings, so you would need to input some preview images, categories, all different kind of data. Then you would need to click on app releases and somewhere there you would go on this production manage and when you click on create release you would upload the, that bundle in here. So this is grayed out because we didn't fulfill any of those requirements. So those are grayed out, you can see. When you do that, this will be enabled and you could upload your app to the Google Play Store. I hope that you have learned a lot and this is very easy to do. So only follow the steps and there are no mistakes whatsoever. So let's see you in the next video.